Okay, so direct proportion means y equals to k times something. Okay, inverse proportion means when x go up, y will go down. Okay, when x go up, y will go down. Okay, so for inversely proportion means y equals to k over x. Okay, k is a constant. All right, same thing. I put in the 18 and the 4. 18 is equals to k over 4. k is equals to 64, I think. Yeah. So therefore, hmm, y is equals to 64 over x. Now, same thing, you sub it in, b, when x is equals to 12, y is equals to 64 over 12. And this guy is equals to 5413. Okay. Thanks. And y equals to 50. And yeah, this one is not 64. Uh, sorry, my mistake. 18 times 4, 72. Okay. 50. Uh, 50 is equals to 72 over x. Cross multiply 50x equals to 72. x equals to 72 over 50. 1 whole 11 over 25. So not all, not all the time is x and y or you know something like that. So it's always the same thing. Once you see, you see b inversely proportional to the square root of x. Yeah, so you write down b equals to Inverse proportion, so it's k over square root of x, where k is a constant. Okay, so same thing I put inside. 18 is equals to k over square root 4. k equals to 36. k is never your answer. Remember to put back there for, for your a. b is equals to 36 over square root x. Okay, so for B, find the value of B when X equals to 9. So write down when X equals to 9. B is equals to 36 over square root 9. In this case, this square root don't need to have plus minus. You only do plus minus, right? You only do plus minus when something is like X squared equals to 9. Then X equals to 3 or negative 3. But when this guy is already square root 9, say that it's a square root already, right? You only take the positive one, 36 over 3. So B is equals to 12. Okay, so for C, when B is equals to 2 whole 1 over 4, 2 whole 1 over 4 is equals to 36 over square root x. This one multiply up, 2 whole 1 over 4 multiplied by square root x is equals to 36. Square root x is equals to 36 divided by 2 whole 1 over 4, 16. This one I know you all sure make mistake, but right? square root x equals to 16 x equals to 16 square, okay? dr is the graph of inverse proportion. This should be b against square root x, huh? Okay, b against square root x, all right? So if this is b and square root x, okay, it's curved. In this case, it's this way, okay? Your graph must go very close to the axis.